Compressor proving lockout. Today I'm bypassing this unit to get my customers some cooling. It's been over a week and I cannot get this unit running. So today I'm going to show you how to see the compressor proving lockout using your phone in the app and then I'm going to show you how to bypass this equipment. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. This is Taddy Digest. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Here's the Symbio app and we're going to log in. I'm going to go up here to the board and you can see there's a Bluetooth button. Click the Bluetooth button. It's going to say waiting. Right now it says no Wi-Fi equipment was found, but it's going to pop up. We'll be able to see it in a second. All right, let's click on it. Badink. Connecting to Bluetooth. I want you guys to see this code before we begin. One active alarm. Let's click the active alarm and it says Diagnostic Compressor 1 Proving Lockout. We got two compressors, right? This is a, I'm pretty sure, six ton unit. And this is Compressor 1, I'm pretty sure. This is a precedent series unit. I'll show you the model and serial number. Here's the model number and you can see it says YSK072. So that is 72,000 BTUs and that is six tons. Six ton package gas. We've been having this code. Sometimes the unit will run and it'll work and the pressures look great, right? Good pressures, good temperatures, the voltage coming in. We got all three phases and we've got good amp draw on our compressors. Literally nothing wrong when it works. Sometimes it won't though. It'll come on for a second and then go right back off. Now, there is a proving circuit. Now let's talk about that. Initially, when I had this happen, I called tech support because I've never had this happen before. Although I haven't set many of these new precedent series units. And they said, it's just a loose connection, right? There's a proving circuit. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'll just check every connector. And I did find one that was loose. It was up here and it does feed the compressors. It feeds the outdoor fan. That was loose. It was like pulled out like, it was pulled out like, let's see, let me show you. It was pulled out like that. So I was like, okay, well that's it. Well then they said, you need to check with the meter continuity on the compressor circuits, right? The compressor proving circuits. And I was like, okay, so I did that. I, everything seems right. I went in here and I pushed all these plugs in. I came over here on the other side all these plugs, right? Because this one is actually the compressor proving circuit, I'm pretty sure, or this one. I think it's this one. And basically, the transformers on the low voltage side have these plugs, and then you can see where the contactors are. The coils are right here, and they've got these plugs. And this is part of that proving circuit, so something right here could be loose. Now, after going through here, and checking every single plug and using my meter and checking the, the circuits because there is a bulletin about this. Um, and I'll try to leave some information in the description. After doing all of that and calling, I think, I don't know, 10 times, I'm done. If, if I can't get anybody up here to be able to just get this going for me, then I'm gonna have to do something. Like I, I just can't wait, right? The customer, it's 95 degrees. The customer's had the unit for a week and has had no cooling. And that's unacceptable. I, I just, I wish things weren't so complicated anymore. I wish we didn't have all these boards and all these plugs if we're gonna have issues like this. Um, the distributor has been great. The tech support, they're great. They're nice guys, right? But they're not here and they can't help me with this new problem that I have. So what do I do? What Taddy always does, baby find a way because I am definitely not going to have my customer go another week without air conditioning. It's Friday. It's about three o'clock. I've already sweated through one shirt. Let's get it done, baby. So let's bypass this board. Now, first disconnect the power. Do not have the power on to the equipment while you're messing with it. That's dangerous. Then second, there is coil number. Oh, these are on here. That's not loose. This is compressor number one or two, and this is compressor number one or two. 
Oh, yeah. And then this right here is the outdoor fan motor. All right. And I'm probably going to use some needle nose or something to take those wires off because those are on there. It's really not a good angle for me. All right. Now, I got that. Let's take this wire here and route it through this panel. And I'm going to go ahead and connect that thermostat wire and show you what I do there. Okay. Now I'm going to connect this end, the blue and the yellow. I've already stripped them. I'm going to connect one wire, the blue, to the ground or what is known as the common, one side of the secondary of the transformer. Then the other wire I'm going to connect to the Y1, Y2 wire, right? Because I got both stages tied together. I want both compressors to come on at once. And there we go. Look at that. Now, let's go ahead and connect to the contactor coils. All right, so here's what we got. We got the yellow wire going to each coil, and I've got purple wires, see, going to this coil, connected to the yellow wire, to this coil, connected to the yellow wire, and jumped from this coil to this coil, all connected to the yellow. Now, the other side of the coil is the common, right? And I've got it with orange wire. So orange jumpers to this coil, orange from the common jumps to this coil. So I'm giving the call, right, to each coil at the same exact time. Now, the only issue I may have is with the fan motor, right? So we may have to figure that out. But this should work. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the disconnect. We're gonna see if this comes on immediately or if it takes a minute. The thermostat may be on right now, I'm not sure. So hang tight, take a look. Disconnect's on. All right, so we may have a little bit of a delay, but that's no big deal. We'll be right back after this commercial. All right, just to make sure this blower comes on, whenever that compressor is energized and it starts going, I'm gonna take off the side duct connection. And also it's really hot outside, so if you stand right here, you'll be nice and cool. I'll show you the fan. That's the heat exchanger. Look at that thing. Wow, that's fancy. Yeah, those are the side duct connections. If this is a ground mount, uh, of course, this is on a curb. So it's we're using bottom duct connections. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. It's working. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Now let's go check the indoor fan and make sure the indoor fan is actually spinning. And then I'm gonna talk about the disadvantages of having to do this. The indoor fan is working. Wow. Do not forget to put this panel back on, no matter how good it feels up here. Did I wanna to have to do this? No, I didn't wanna to have to do this. I wanted it to be fixed the right way. You doing this in the field, Sometimes you're bypassing safeties. And when you bypass safeties like low pressure switches and high pressure switches, you could end up damaging components like compressors, like outdoor fan motors or indoor fan motors. Safeties are there for a reason. Now, if I would have had the help that I needed and we could have maybe had like a field service rep come out here and just went, oh, it's just this right here. Beep, beep, boop, 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 beep. Then I wouldn't have had to do this but I am forced, right? My hand was forced and I had to do this and I don't want anybody else out there to be waiting a week or two weeks or a month or even six months and their customer having to suffer because they're out there and they have no idea how to get past this. So that this, this video was out of necessity, right? I have to do this when I'm forced to do it. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys, if you ran into this issue and you know the issue, right? You know the, the, the problem, the answer to the problem. Please let me know. I would love to be able to come back up here Monday and disconnect what I did and reconnect those wires and be able to fix this the right way. Uh, but it is what it is. And I got the customer cooling. Yeah. If you want more videos like this, go check out my playlist, HVAC tips for technicians. I've got hundreds of videos of live experience in the field 
as a technician to help you be a better technician. If you learned anything in today's video, let me know what you learned. If you've got a question, remember questions can lead to new content, so put your questions down below. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and let me know where you're from. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, this was Taddy Digest, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.